Games, games everywhere, but are any of them any good? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hello my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and today we're gonna do some short reviews for each of the Real Reward Casino games. So in case you're a Vegas goer that hasn't heard of these Real Reward Casino games, here's a quick explanation. You download a free game for your mobile phone, play it, and get real rewards in Vegas casinos. Usually free food, free shows, and yes, even free rooms. They were pretty sparse in 2012 when my Vegas slots first started, but since then there have been more than a few spin-offs, copies, clones, and straight up rip-offs made to ape the success of the series. So we've picked 13 of the most popular real reward casino apps and have them rated worst to best. Why 13? Because as you know, I like to go. Even further beyond. So don't touch that app store. These are the best and worst real reward casino games. <laughs> Number 13. Hard Rock Social Casino. Hard Rock Social Casino is the weakest title on the list. For starters, it offers almost no real casino rewards. You do get points for your Hard Rock card, but if I have a Hard Rock card, I may as well go to the real casino and have fun and potentially win some real money, instead of spending my money on fake coins especially when the game gives me fake coins at the outset. The controls and aesthetic and sound are overdone at best and clunky at the worst, and that's when the games work. Half the time they won't even load. The other half of the time the resolution is off. I've tried this game on my cell phone, my tablet, and my emulator with limited success. The only saving grace that this has is that the game is kind of fun. Again, when it works. The gameplay is varied and perfectly serviceable, but that's only when it works. The Hard Rock is a good property, but they're really suffering here in the gaming world. The only accolade it can have is being the worst real reward casino game on the list. Number 12. Comp City Slots. Anthony Curtis, if you can hear me, fix your app. Theoretically, this is a pretty solid and serviceable game, and I generally like it better than a few more games on this list. The rewards are decent, and it's relatively user-friendly. The game suffers in three major categories. Number one, the audio and visuals are pretty bad, especially when compared to my Vegas, Win, and Caesar slots. Without a major hotel behind them, I kind of understand that. But given the game's engine is shared by about three or four other apps on this list, I figured that they'd take some time to clean it up a little bit. And the other bits, the functionality and the fun factor. Frankly, after about five or six sessions, I can't get the game to open anymore. It keeps telling me about a technical issue of sorts, and support has never gotten back to any of my emails. So my account sits in limbo and just takes up space on my phone, which is a real shame. I was close to earning a Las Vegas Advisor yearly coupon book and had plans to earn dinner with the man himself. I'd love to meet Anthony Curtis, the true king of games, and I thought mastering his game would be quite the way to do it. But I haven't been able to play in months and even abandoned my how to play guide. So, Anthony, seriously man, reach out to me, let's get this thing fixed so I can play. Until then, the king of card games will have to live with the number 12 spot. Number 11. Station Play. This one is disappointing since it's so fresh in my mind. The other day I played Station Play from Station Casinos. Why is it that some of the best hotels off the strip made one of the worst casino apps online? The rewards are god awful, mainly because you can get them in the casino and you can't redeem them on the app, which is pretty much the entire point of having an app. Otherwise, why am I wasting money on chips? Which is the only way to earn real rewards, mind you. It's a fairly pretty game, all things considered. I love the chatter and the activity on the main menu, and they've designed so many games. The linchpin is, once again, half of them don't work. They render weird on emulators, and even on the phone, there's a bad gateway with more than half the games. And when more than half your game doesn't work, it's frustrating instead of fun. And while frustrating games can be fun, Station Play is no Ninja Turtles, no Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's a no-go from me. I might have to go to the real Green Valley Ranch Spa and Resort just to forget about our number 11 game here. Number 10. Herbs Social Casino. Terrible Herbs is a crude but endearing mascot. His game is also crude, but lacks the endearing nature of the stores. The game represents the former Gold Strike Casino, a casino that ironically used to offer my Vegas rewards. Sadly, the casino would have been better served sticking with Play Studios. The game is fairly easy to use, but that's about it. It apes the Four Queens and Binions Casino app with a much dirtier aesthetic, and not in the cool so bad that it's good sort of way. The rewards only account for the convenience stores, which is cool if you drive around Vegas a lot. And 
fact, if it was a Vegas Locals only app, I'd be pretty excited about that. I think Locals should get special treatment in a big tourist town like Vegas, but it doesn't look like the app offers much more than a $10 voucher, and the gameplay is pretty bland. Worst of all, it's not entirely clear how you earn badges in the game for your vouchers. I got up to about 100 by signing up for the VIP club, then abandoned the game. You probably get more points from watching videos than playing video poker in slots, but I honestly couldn't be bothered to care after that. Luckily for Herbst, its rewards are better than half the apps on the list, so it can have the number 10 spot. Number 9. Caesar Slots. Talk about wasted potential. Caesars was the second largest casino giant on the Strip, right behind MGM. And they're known for having a much better comps policy. So when I heard that they had a casino game, I got really excited. Imagine my disappointment playing this massive letdown of a game. The controls are pretty basic, though the interface can be a bit confusing at times. The game looks nice in spots, so the resolution isn't always consistent. It works more than half the time, and I guess it has slots. That's about it, but it does have slots. So, what's wrong with the game? Two things. Number one, it doesn't bring anything new to the table. It's just another slot game, and a tight one at that, which encourages you to buy coins. The good news about the coin purchases is you can earn credit on your Caesars Rewards Players Club card, which leads us to number two. It doesn't have any in-app rewards available, which once again defeats the purpose of a real rewards game. Why should I play the Bally's level in the game and then waste $100 in chips when I can go to the real Bally's and actually play there? Also, the game only offers slots. It wouldn't be a problem, really, if the slots were more interactive, but the game functions more like moving wallpaper than an interactive application. Aside from changing the bets, the game doesn't need you there to operate. It's pretty sad. Sad enough to leave Caesar Slots in ninth place. Number 8. Four Queens. Four Queens is exactly what Caesars should have been. It's a perfectly average and serviceable game. It links to the website so you can book rooms, it has both slots and video poker. Its art style is acceptable, I suppose. Four Queens is a Binion sister app, so I guess they should look similar. But most importantly, it offers real in-app rewards. And the best part is they actually match the rewards in the Binion's app. So it's always great to have some free rewards in the downtown area. I don't have much else to say, except deal me in number eight. Number seven. My Konami Slots. My Konami is admittedly my least favorite game in the My Vegas series. There's nothing objectively wrong with it, mind you. Objectively, it can stand just fine on its own. The gameplay is incredibly simple and allows you to play with either no interaction or you can stay invested the entire time. The rewards match other My Vegas rewards and include some special ones that you can't get on other apps. It works more than half the time, although it is prone to a certain glitch that makes it so you can't sign in without wiping your cash about six or seven times. So what's wrong with it? Nothing except that the other My Vegas apps are better. The red color evokes an East Asian theme, and it feels like good luck, but it's too red for too long. There isn't any variety, and even when it is working, it seems to be the biggest My Vegas game because it takes the longest to load, and frankly, the lack of interactive games and features can make it boring if you play for long periods of time. If it wasn't packaged together with other My Vegas games, I probably wouldn't even play it. But there are a lot of games I wouldn't bother with if they weren't packaged together with other ones. It's not a bad one by any means. In fact, I'd say it's an above average game, and it has potential to get better now that My Vegas Lucky Life is shutting down and My Konami will be the carryover game. Hopefully, we'll see some more outstanding Macau awards for the Globetrotters Among Us. For right now, it has to settle for the number 7 spot on our list. Number 6. Pop slots. This game just barely missed out on the number 5 spot on our list. Why is that? Well, let's list the positives first, then we'll discuss the negatives. Firstly, I love the way the game looks. It's nice to have your own avatar, and the cartoony aesthetic really works for this game. The music, while predictable, fits the levels in the slots well, so that's a plus. It of course gives you access to the magnificent catalog of my Vegas rewards, and most importantly, it's really fun to play. You actually get to run around the casino as your avatar, pick your games, pick your bets, the bonus games are either incredibly cinematic or fairly interactive. Minus the lack of beer, it's a great way to simulate a Vegas experience. So what's so bad about it? It's the accessibility. The game style of collecting loyalty points requires you to pop balloons and babysit the game. They pop up at seemingly random intervals and are less and less frequent if you aren't being social and sitting next to other players. What makes it worse is the fact that you don't always get a loyalty point bonus. You normally have a 33% chance of earning loyalty points from a balloon, but you also have a 33% chance of either getting more free 
free chips or an experience point dump. And that's when they're not doing their awful contest events. Also, the most LPs you can earn in a single grab is 50. So you could sit there babysitting the game for half an hour before you see your first LP balloon. Assuming you get it, the biggest reward you can earn will be 50 points. It's a little disheartening. It's an amazing game in theory, and if there were no rewards tied to casino games in general, I actually might play this one recreationally. But as a real reward casino game, Pop Slots pops into number 6. Number 5. Binion's Casino. Binion's, I feel, is a good representation of the relationship between the Strip and downtown. Much like Fremont Street, Binion's seems to be an app that's almost slept on by the community as a whole. I see fewer posts in groups about Binion's and Four Queens than I see even Slotomania groups, which is a shame because it's a good game. The graphics and controls are painfully average at best. That's a given. But the rewards, payback percentages, its short load time, and the ability to play video poker or slots makes for a nice change of pace from games like My Vegas and My Konami. The rewards are varied and all very reasonably priced, so I actually enjoy playing the games. The only gripe I have is that your earning potential for silver hats is partially tied to your ability to gather resources through videos, and not so much your skill as a player. But who plays slots because they're particularly skilled at it, really? Either way, Binion sits atop the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4 Win Slots. A relatively new game, Win has only been draining our phone batteries for just under a year. Or at least on my last count, it could be more now. And damn if it isn't one pretty slot game. It takes a much more storybook aesthetic to its games, and it looks downright regal. Reds, purples, silvers, and golds are the main colors here, so anything you do makes you feel like royalty. It only offers slot games, gameplay-wise, and strategies to earn gems are pretty limited. But the games are generally colorful, fun, and the battle mode is an excellent addition. There's also a tournament mode, too, if you like competitive games without a direct head-to-head. -head. The only real downside to the game is that the slots can be tighter than Binion's or My Konami, and the only rewards that you get there are free rooms. But these are free rooms that the win Encore in Vegas, and also they allow you to redeem them on weekends, which is very rare for comps of any kind, especially for a free-to-play game. So Win easily wins the fourth slot on our list of slots. Number 3. My Vegas Mobile. In a review I did on this game about a year back, I said My Vegas Slots Mobile was just a watered down port of the original, and that very much stands. I've been playing it a lot for another series on my channel in hopes of finding the best game with the best payback percentage, and I've had some victories and failures there. But what I have noticed is that the games are still easy to play, they're still fun, and they contribute to rewards that are worth it. If anything's wrong with the game, it's that the graphics aren't as nice as the Facebook counterpart, but when you port a PC game to a phone, it's to be expected. I can see why my Vegas Slots Mobile is number three. Number two. My Vegas Blackjack. Let's get the bad out of the way first, this game can be brutal. Blackjack is the only other skill game on this list, and the learning curve is steeper than one for video poker. And I'm trying to put my bias aside for the sake of the review, but damn it, I love Blackjack. It's a simple game to learn and difficult to master. I've got about four or five different strategy videos on it, but the game is so rewarding. Under a million loyalty points, it seems like it's the best earner for loyalty points. And that's a good thing too, because My Vegas Blackjack has a huge catalog of MGM rewards. Admittedly, not quite as vast as my Konami's, but still pretty damn vast. The music and visuals are average, and the controls take a little getting used to, so by no means is it a perfect game. The other bad thing is that this game is not set it and forget it, but it does reward you for your skill, effort, and time with excellent payback and comps. So if you prefer an autoplay game, skip this one. It's not for you. If you are a Blackjack fan and plan on heading to the strip, stop this video and go download this game now. It's my personal favorite game on the list, but I can't say it's the very best. So let's deal two cards in My Vegas Blackjack for number two. Number one. My Vegas Slots Facebook. The granddaddy of them all, My Vegas Slots was the game that started it all, and it's still the best. The rewards are always plentiful, and the game is easiest to play on the PC. It's scaled properly for HD, and while they're a little too loud, the sound effects and music are appropriate, so the audiovisual design gets a pass. The game is simple, a little difficult, but there's a brief tutorial that guides you through the game at the start, and you get the hang of it fast. The slots are varied, colorful, cartoony, and interactive. It's in need of a few feature updates, like the Monte Carlo on the 
in-game board should be the park now. Most of the issues I really have with it are nitpicks. It'd be good if they switch away from Flash for this game, but it works often enough for me not to care. And I've been playing the game for years now and haven't had an issue that support can't solve. That consistency and comfort really makes me think that the original My Biggest Slots is still King of the Valley and the number one real reward casino game of all time. Do you agree with our list? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like what we do here, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to see our next list. Until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.